वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर नाउ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड ऑल दोज हु हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग द वीडियो सिंस दिस चैनल इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल टू यू इन स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टेंथ इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ सो लेट्स बिगिन In the previous video, we had learned about how the decimal numbers or floating, that is, real numbers, are stored into the computer memory in binary number system. Right? Now, today, first thing we are going to learn about how characters are stored in the computer memory. Now, don't get worried. You don't have to solve anything like mathematics. You to just understand the concept. In computer memory, characters are represented using bit pattern. A group of seven, eight, sixteen, or thirty-two bits can be used to represent each character. The rules that determine such bit patterns in a specific length is known as coding scheme. Historically, seven-bit American Standard Code for Information Interchange, that is ASCII code. Then another thing is eight-bit American National Standards Institute, that is ANSI (ANSI) code, and Extended Binary Code Decimal Interchange Code, that is EBCDIC, were used. Now, these coding schemes. represent character in 7 or 8 bit binary code but the drawback here was that one can represent maximum up to 256 possible patterns only using the size of 8 bits where each pattern represents a specific character hence we may represent limited number of characters Further, this character scheme do not represent all characters in all the languages in uniform format. I hope you are able to understand the things that in that system there were only two fifty six characters possible. Now at present, if you try to uh, type something, you get so many language options that is English, Hindi, Gujarati. Now if you count the total number of alphabets and kakko uh, barak sadi, it will be so many. then this thing was not capable of handling so many things here is given the tabular information of how different characters are represented you can pause the video over here and check for example 7 then 7 is converted into a decimal number 55 and 55 is represented in binary number like that way few examples are given here presently Unicode scheme is used to represent characters into the computer memory. Unicode provides a universal and efficient character presentation and hence evolved as a modern character representation scheme. Unicode is compatible with other coding schemes like ASCII. Unicode uses either 32 or 16 bits to represent a character the 16 bit unicode scheme allows 65536 unique patterns that is it can represent 65536 characters uniquely further 44,949 more characters were added into the scheme in May 2001. The added characters were from Chinese, Japanese and Korean languages and culture. Presently, the Unicode 
latest standard that is 32 bits can represent more than 1 lakh characters in unique pattern you can just pause the video over here and check the tabular information which is given here how for example 0 is a character and it is converted into unicode code u plus 0030 the description is digital 0 like that way no need to go in much detail here now we come to very interesting topic and that is image representation into computer memory now image representation in computer memory is called digital image since images here is converted into a sequence of zeros and ones like character and digits everything is finally converted into zeros and one here in the computer images are stored in two different ways vector and raster now you may observe the thing that uh, some of the images if you try to zoom that image then that image will get blur am i right while there are some type of images which allows you to zoom that image up till any extent how is that thing possible that is possible because that image is stored in the mathematical form or mathematical equations form so whenever you zoom it will perform the equations and the image will not get blur and the another way of storing the image is in the pixel form at present we are going to discuss both of them first we are going to discuss about the bitmap or raster images now computer stores the images in the form of pixel map which is known as bitmap or raster image you can compare it with the square line book which you were using for mathematics in your childhood right now in that mathematics book if you try to imagine that you want to write alphabet h see i have given an example here i have drawn nine squares okay in that nine squares i have filled red color in some of the colors to display the alphabet h so same is the mechanism here but here you don't come to know that the things are stored in the form of squares because the number of squares is so much here there are only 9 squares and they are so big so you can make out that h is written like this way while your pixels are generally 1036 uh, 1366 into 768 to see how many pixels your screen is made up of you can right click on your desktop and you can click on the screen resolution so the number of squares are so many if you multiply that thing that is 1366 multiplied by 768 gives you the answer 1049088 so there are so many pixels and by setting the screen resolution to more number of pixels the clarity will go on increasing so a pixel is a small dot on the computer screen a map is a two dimensional matrix of dots that is rows and columns those are two dimensions thus a bitmap is a simple matrix of tiny dots which forms an image on the computer screen each pixel contains a value representing a color for example here to display the alphabet h we have used the color red when an image is sent to for being displayed on the screen the picture data is converted into pixels another form of image generated by computers is vector graphics here contents of image are described using positioning and size of geometrical forms and shapes as lines curves 
rectangles and circles and is stored in the form of mathematical equations a vector image can be easily enlarged or shrunk without affecting the quality of the image so this is the main difference on the screen both bitmap and vector graphics looks the same but when we enlarge the bitmap image it will blur and the pixels will get enlarged as shown in the figure just now we had seen the figure those yellow yellow flowers while on the other end the vector images looks the same when it is enlarged this is because the data is stored in the mathematical form and the values are recalculated when it is displayed on the screen now which things are stored in the vector graphics form then font right logos of any company and many illustrations are stored in this face now i am showing you both the type of images raster graphic and vector graphic by looking at both of them it will look the same for example this one and this one both looks the same now i will zoom this image now this was a big banner so it will allow me to zoom but after certain extent if you notice it will get blur am i right fine now the same image it was created in coral draw it was created using the application coral draw here that image is open using the application coral draw now here i am trying to zoom that image just observe i can i can uh, zoom it till any level just see i am going on zooming the image but it will not get blur at all okay so like this way is the mechanism now a thought will come into your mind since you all are intelligent that sir then why can't we save all the images in this form only right now we are not able to uh, save our photographs in this form what we can save using this form is uh, any type of logo or any textual thing we can say uh, we can save using this extension otherwise by default whenever we click a photo it will be saved as jpg jpg is raster or bitmap type of image popular formats of raster images are dot bmp dot jpg dot png dot gif and dot tiff then the topic is audio representation into memory computer memory in computer sound is also represented using digital format computer represent sound as binary numbers for this frequency and resolution are considered the sound audio file extensions such as .wav .mp3 which is very common and .wma we come to the end of the chapter last topic that is video representation into computer memory digital video consists of sequence of digital images displayed in a continuous fashion as at a constant rate this images are identified as frames in one second typically more than 45 frames must have to be passed to generate the effect of continuous scene now what i am trying to explain is that you can uh, compare it like that way that for example you want to create a uh, whenever you create a video and you are walking okay in that video then actually uh, per second 45 different images are clicked okay and the images moves images are known as frames this frames are 45 per second so one by one one by one it will pass at such a high speed that it will create an illusion of moving picture okay it's worth knowing earlier silent films add frames up to 25 
to 30 frames per second. In those days, this was the rate, and that is why when you see the olden movies, you will not, uh, it will not be as smooth as right now present days movies. There will be break in between means uh, it will not go on smoothly. Popular video formats are .flv, .avi, .wmv, and .mp4. So here we complete this video. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please do subscribe the channel and stay connected now we meet in the next video goodbye